Hi, I'm Ukash, one of the devs working on Elixir WebRTC. We've just released the very first version of the library and wanted to celebrate this milestone by creating this quick tutorial on how to combine the Phoenix framework, Elixir NX, and Elixir WebRTC to create a real-time image recognition app. The app will capture your user's camera feed, send it to the Phoenix application using WebRTC, where it's going to be decoded and fed into Elixir NX. Then the model prediction is going to be sent back to the front end and presented to the user. We will also extend the Phoenix Live dashboard with WebRTC metrics that will allow you to monitor the quality of connection from server's perspective. Let's start with a fresh Phoenix project. We're going to replace its default home page with our own HTML in the home.html.hex file. That's how it's going to look afterwards. Next, let's create a new Phoenix channel. We're going to use it to pass the WebRTC signaling messages between the browser and the Phoenix site, and also to return the information about the items recognized by the machine learning model to the user. Now, let's implement the room channel module. Firstly, let's create the join function. It's going to spawn the room gen server process under the room supervisor. We're going to take care of this later. Next, let's add the handling and handle info functions. They're going to pass some messages back and forth between WebSocket and the RoomGen server. And lastly, add the terminate function. It's going to stop the RoomGen server process when the WebSocket connection is broken. Next, let's add some processes to the main application supervisor. It's going to be the room registry to keep track of our room processes and the room supervisor that I've mentioned a second ago. Now, let's implement the actual RoomGen server. Let's add the room API functions, like start link, stop, or receive signaling message, a function that we used in the room channel. Before we get to the callback implementation, we have to add some dependencies. More precisely, xwebrtc for the WebRTC implementation, xav, a wrapper over fmpeg that we use to decode the video, and Bumblebee and Exla for machine learning stuff. Now we can create the init function in the RoomGen server. It's going to create the WebRTC peer connection, save it to the state together with the video detail holder. We're going to use it to unpack the RTP packets from WebRTC, video decoder to decode the VP8 into raw format, and video serving, machine learning stuff that we're going to use to do the actual item recognition. Now we can add a callback that will handle the WebSocket messages. It's going to be either the WebRTC ICE candidate, which we have to feed into our peer connection, or the WebRTC offer. Our peer connection will handle the offer and create an answer that we're going to set via the WebSocket to the front-end site. We also have to handle some of the XWebRTC messages, like the ICE candidate message, we have to send the candidate via the WebSocket, or the track message, a track might have been added as a result of the offer and we're going to need its ID later. Now let's handle the actual RTP packets that we're going to receive via the WebRTC connection from the browser. Firstly, we have to get the media out of the RTP packets using the VP8 DP loader. Then we can decode the VP8 video into raw video using the XAV decoder. And then we can feed the raw frames into the machine learning model. It will return some result, which we're going to send to the frontend using the Phoenix channel. And that's basically it for the room module. Now to the last part, which is the frontend JavaScript. We're going to place it in the record.js file in the assets directory. Let's start by declaring some variables. We'll need them in a moment. Now let's add the start function. It's going to do a bunch of things. We'll start with requesting the user media and attaching it to the HTML video element. Then we need to connect to the Phoenix channel. We're going to handle two types of messages, ICE candidates and WebRTC answer. We also want to present the result from the machine learning model. It's going to be some label telling what item is in front of the camera. Next, we'll finally create the RTC peer connection and tell it to send its ICE candidates via the Phoenix channel. Now remember that the Elixir site is expecting the offer, so we have to create it and send it there. We'll also create the stop function. 
is going to stop the WebRTC peer connection and disconnect from the Phoenix channel. And lastly, we have to attach the functions to the HTML button, and that's it for the front-end side. The app is now finished and ready to be run. As the very last thing, we are going to extend the Phoenix Live dashboard with WebRTC metrics, which is as simple as adding a new dependency and one line of code in router.ex. And that's everything you need to know to create a simple Phoenix app that utilizes both Elixir NX and Elixir WebRTC. Check out the links down in the description box, and thank you for watching.